In this video, we're excited to bring you along with us to a Niagara e-bikes tour. Let's go. Good morning. We are here on a beautiful Saturday morning at Niagara on the Lake, and we are super, super excited because we're trying something very, very new, but also in our wheelhouse. So we are going to be going on a tour of Niagara on the Lake on e-bikes. We actually ride bikes, we've never ridden e-bikes before, so I'm very excited. This will be my first time on an e-bike, and Guillaume, who owns Niagara Segways, has invited us out here for this tour. So All right, how it's just a work? regular bike, you know, okay. yep. so uh, back brake on the right, yep. front brake on the left, so just be careful with the front brake, especially when you're turning. Okay. The bed is going to be here. Nice. Nice and easy, and the gear change is here, so here it's a bit thick. Okay. You might want to push it, go to the rear. To turn it on, you are going to press like mode for like a second or two. Yeah, you go. So okay. point comes up. So the level of assistance is here, pass one. Mm -hmm. So if you need like more assistance, you are going to go two, three, four, five. Um, so it's, it's how you know how much you get help, you know, white, white pedal. I think the warning okay. should be okay. And just be careful, don't do it now, you know. Here's a throttle. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Uh, so here's like a motorcycle. Oh, right. okay. So this way. Yeah, like. <laughs> you got that? I got it, I got it. So don't okay. use it yet, you know. Yep. You are just going to take this long stride here. And uh, as soon as you start pedaling, you should feel some assistance. How is it? It is much easier to ride than our regular bikes. Do you it's want it? very comfortable. So n now that you've tried an e-bike for 200 meters, <laughs> should we buy an e-bike? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn, Andy. You heard it here. All right, let me try this. Okay, okay so what we're going to do is we're going to hit up three wineries. Vince here he is our guide. He has already told us, but I completely forgot where we're going. So I'm going to make him tell you again. This is Vince, our, uh, our tour guide. First stop, Stratus. Second stop is Lunch. Then our second winery is called um, uh, Ponview, which is now actually called Bella Terra. They changed the name. And our last stop is a place called Lely. Right? And then we're heading, oh, sorry, no. <laughs> I should have prepared for this. <laughs> Our last stop is here, where we're starting. And uh, it's a special place because they serve fruit wines, an apple, peach, and pear, as well as apple cider. And it's called Ironwood. Great! Alright, I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, so we're at Stratus, it's our first stop, and it looks really cool. Look at this building! Now, a little bit about our ride here. So, like I said, it's our first time in Niagara on the Lake, and honestly, e-bikes are the perfect way of uh, seeing the area. Uh, we basically went through all neighborhoods, very little road, like we had one crossing, so 
just basically neighborhoods and a dedicated uh, bikeways. It's awesome. Okay, so we've been we've just been seated here at Stratus, and um, there's a couple of different options that you can go for. So they do have some flights that you can try. They've got the signature flight, and they've also got a spring at Stratus flight, which is what we are going to try today. Um, pretty excited. It has a rosé, a Sauvignon Blanc, a Merlot, and one that I have never heard of before. I don't even know how to say it. The Sauvignon. Thank you. What he said. <laughs> that, that's our uh, master wine person, Richard. <laughs> um, if you don't want to do a flight, you can also do just by the glass. There is an option for that as well. Um, and wine aside, the building here is just absolutely beautiful. Really great vibe. Um, we're really, really excited to try this out. Okay, so we just started with the rosé. This is a bit of a drier rosé, Richard was telling us. And um, it's actually not too bad. I think okay. maybe we don't like wine, Andy was saying, because like we haven't had good wine. <laughs> I know. We, we were on our drive here and I was telling Tia, oh man, we're gonna have to drink wine because you know, we're always like, mmm, tastes like wine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe it's because we were broke and we <laughs> just drank wine for its alcoholic content. Because that is actually quite delicious. It's pretty good. It's not bad. All right, that was the rosé. Um, what do we have left here? I don't know, a white wine. And then a Merlot and then another white wine. Oh, this is the Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. Mmm. Okay, I'm becoming more convinced. <laughs> It's probably because we need to actually like venture out a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, Tia's so trying the red. We just we finished the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, yeah. The next is the Merlot. I don't really drink red wine. If I'm gonna drink wine, it's gonna be white or rose. So. Oh, that is dry. That's a really dry wine. It's actually not as bad as I was expecting. It's good for you, Betsy. I definitely don't think I can drink any more of it. <laughs> Winery Stratus. Stratus. Um, it was a cool experience. We're still not wine people. Let's throw that out there. But I will say, I think the rose tripped us up. We we're like, oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Confirmed. The wine tastes way better than what we usually buy. We're not wine people still, but it was fairly tasty. And I think uh, those who like wine. I personally really enjoy the building. It's very environmentally friendly. I don't think we actually mentioned that. So uh, Stratus was the first building of its kind here in, I think, Niagara-on-the-Lake or maybe all of Ontario to receive the LEED certification. So it's the first winery in the world, actually. In the world. Oh, Back nice. in 2005. So, so way ahead of its time. <laughs> the Sorry. LEED certification is leadership in environmental design something. Anyway, what it means is that their building is designed in an environmentally friendly way. So they have a lot of really giant windows, so they use less electricity for lighting. Their windows are insulated, so they use less power for um, heating or cooling. Um, what else do you say? The walls are made of recycled materials. Basically, everything is very environmentally friendly. You, uh, you named it, they got it geothermal. The solar, big windows for light, like he said, any, yeah. Very, very cool. Very cool. And the inside looks so cool, so nice. It is just so nice. I really love that natural feel. Um, so if you are into wine or like cool, environmentally uh, friendly buildings, go check them out. Now, we are at our second stop. Our tour guide, Vince, has been absolutely amazing so far. He's been letting us know a lot of facts about um, some other things in the area that we're passing. So we rode past a brewery and he let us know about that brewery. Um, he's also letting us know some historical information about Niagara on the lake in general. Yeah, it's really just the type of thing that we really enjoy when we are on uh, 
Any uh, sort of tour. Yeah, um, even though this is Ontario and we do live here, uh, we we don't really know Niagara on the Lake. So it's really cool to hear about the little town's history, even though if it's just about the high school. Uh, it, it's just cool. Uh, and yeah, Vince is just a cool guy. He like stops and then talks. Anyways, fantastic tour so far. So we're at our lunch stop now. We are eating outside. We are at a building. We're going to show you what it looks like on the inside after we eat our lunch. But this is um, its own. It's a restaurant that's owned by a winery. Surprise, surprise. Um, but they sell some food here and we're going to enjoy the sunshine while we eat our lunch. And then we're going to head off after that to our next Stop on our e-bikes. Hey, sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and there's some dessert. Oh, there's water. Vince has just informed me that all the food has been assigned to Andy, so I don't get to eat today. Wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> and the desserts to order. Vineyard, which is Vineyard Winery, which is called Melaterra. My name is Michael and I'll be your server today. Starting off, we have some water, you know, the more boring side of wine. <laughs> hey, you're gonna need it to refresh that palate. And to start you off, we have our 2020 Sparkling Rosé. 95% Vidal, 5% I believe Pinot Noir. And it being 2020, our best year is gonna be very refreshing. And very nice on those flavors. Here we have our wine club on the back, if you're at all curious about the perks and uh, benefits of being a wine club member. But more importantly, we have our wine list inside. Okay, we're at our second uh, winery stop. Uh, what is it, Bellaterra? Bellaterra. What are your thoughts so far? Very visual. Look at all these barrels. <laughs> Still not wine drinkers, but but we're Wine, trying a sparkling rosé. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're trying a sparkling rosé though, so... Are we rosé drinkers? I don't know. <laughs> we'll try it. Winery. And 
and so we're doing a tasting flight here as well and we get to choose between um, all of the wines listed on their estate collection. So we're gonna take a look at that and try out some wine. All right, we just wrapped up at Lely Winery. This was stop number three of four. This was more of a quick one. We tried four wines here as well. They were wine. <laughs> they were interesting. There was actually an interesting one. There was an orange wine. And we've learned a lot about a lot about the process of like wine and what makes a rosé or an orange or a white or a red. We didn't actually know before. But it turns out it's the peel of the grape that gives it the color. And the different color wines that you buy have the, the peel like mixed in them for a certain amount of time. So anyway, our last stop of the day, we're going to somewhere that has cider. So we're actually stepping away from the wine. We're gonna be having some cider to wrap up our day. And we're obviously taking our fantastic e-bikes with Niagara e-bike to get there. So let's go. Not too far to Ironwood Cider House. Okay, so it's kind of exciting actually. This is brand new. They had their soft opening about six months ago. Um, so we're here to taste some ciders, which finally on this tour there is something that I would drink, but it is the last round, so uh, I kind of have to drive. So Tia is going to have all of the drinks but i'm very excited because well first of all it looks spectacular in here lots of art lots of uh well lots of drinks and i quite like the industrial uh, style building so very excited to see what we got This is round two, their seasonal cider, and I already had a little sip of it. It's actually really good. This is not your normal cider. You definitely get the uh, the base fruit, which is apple in this case, but in this case, they actually put a little bit of lime in there, and it is just so refreshing. I highly recommend this. If you are in the Niagara on the Lake region, drop by Iron Ironwood Cider House. It's really good. If you're interested in the tour that we did in this video, visit NiagaraEbikes.com. This tour is the full day Niagara on the Lake scooter or e-bike wine and cider tour where you get to visit three local wineries and one cider house and enjoy a gourmet picnic lunch. Niagara eBikes also offers other tours on e-bikes and scooters. So whatever you're looking for in Niagara on the Lake, make sure to hit them up and check out what they have to offer.